Hey guys, welcome back to Everett Reviews. Oh. And today I'm going to be doing a full review of the um, Predator Alien from uh, Alien vs. Predator, the second one. Uh, I think it's called Requiem. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but um, so I didn't like I didn't really like the um, unboxing video of this. I was disappointed with all the box and stuff. You know, the pieces not really taped that good together, and I don't know what happened with the shipping. But I was pissed off about it, so I'll make it up to you in this video. I'm going to show you like exactly how to do all the pieces and stuff. So hopefully I can redeem myself. I am disappointed with the earlier, with the uh, unboxing of this. So I'm going to make it right. So let's get into it. So I want, I'm not sure if you got a good look at this during the unboxing, but this is what it looks like. The Alien vs. Predator movie. The second one. Now I'm not sure if you really need this anymore because you got all the um, online stuff and you can simply just click on, you know, go to Google and search a website and then you can find the movie. So I don't know how rele relevant this is to in today's time. So, you know, you got social media and stuff. So I don't think you really need DVDs anymore, but it's good to have towards the collection. <clears throat> all right, now on to the the full view, at the full view of uh, Pred Alien by Hot Toys. Um, it comes with a bunch of pieces, and not too much. You know, you got. Let me get this out of the way. And I forgot to mention, uh, Beast has returned. You don't see him in the video because he's under uh, my chair. <laughs> you want to say hello to the camera? <laughs> you don't want to be bothered. I guess he just wants to color, but he is here. And he has returned as a special guest, as always. And so, uh, Pred Alien comes with a bunch of different pieces. It's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. But it's a, it appears to be that it's going to be a big figure, so you can see up close. <laughs> you can see those nice mandibles. So, all right, so you can see this is the first piece. No, the mouth and stuff. Another thing is it didn't come with a menu either, so don't expect this video to be all perfect. No, I'm not sure of everything, but I think this is how you activate the tone. And it still works. Sort of. What? Is it? Oh, it actually does. So you can see. There you go. I was able to get this a good price from eBay. So, all right, so I think this has been around since 2015. I think that's when this toy was made. So they don't make these anymore. So I had to find it on eBay just to let you all know that. So luckily this one should be in good standards. I hope. Alrighty, so as you can see, this is the arm. And you can tell this figure is gonna be really big due to the size of the arms. You can see how big it is. The arms actually, Get the orange itself is about almost eight inches long, so that's pretty long, actually. Almost nine inches if you count the, the longest finger, so it is a pretty long finger. So now let's get this thing together so you can see. Let me make sure this is the right hand. Wait, now how do I? This right? Okay, there you go. So you see the little ball joint? You see that? You see the little thing in there? So you stick this into here. So just there you go. Now you know it's on. Now you can see the whole body in the hand. Now on to the other hand. So it's gonna be really easy, it's nothing too complex. And he also comes with two additional hands, which I didn't notice. So now this is the other the other hand you can see the little joint. And you see where the stick is at right there. And then and there you go. So now you got his two arms now. <laughs> yeah, so alright, so as I said he got some long arms and so just let you all know that. Now onto the feet. You see? See that little piece? And then you see this, 
And then now you just snap it on. Uh oh, this is all right. There we go. Now you got the one leg. Now you can see what it looks like. Now on to the second leg. But before I get into that, the piece, the leg, is attachable. So you see that this is the feet. And this is the leg. You see that little ball joint in there? And you see the little hole? So you simply just stick it into there and give it some force. Well, ah. all right, there we go. Ooh, this thing was a little jammed up in there. And there we go. As I said, this figure is pretty old, but now you just snap it on, see? Well, that wasn't too bad. And there you go. Now you got yourself a almost completed pair of alien. And sadly, I don't think this comes with a base neither. So I'm just gonna have to find one an additional base. I just hold it for now. Let me see. But no, it does not pass the two feet test, so it cannot stand on its own. So let me make sure. Okay, it kind of does, but it still fails. Only because the feet are, you can see how the feet are, they ain't the best. That's how they're designed, so it's probably the reason why it's so hard to have it, you know, sticking to stand up straight, because it's all curled. You can see the sharp toes on it. And they're not really that sharp, so, well they are, but compared to the alien's feet, they're, I give it a seven out of 10. The alien's a 10 out of 10. You see the feet. All right, so we're almost done here, and now you got the tail. You can see that nice long tail with all the details in it. <laughs> tail details, you can get it. And you see that little ball joint, and you see the little hole in this. <laughs> it's a little disturbing, but I gotta show you it. Cause it's a four of you, but this where are you gonna stick the tail at? <laughs> stick it the tail. <laughs> All right, so let's get. Oh, oh you gotta put it in. All right, so you see that little thing right here? You're gonna have to insert that. Be careful with that. Um, you're gonna have to insert it in the hole where it lines up with it. So you can't just stick it in how you want to. You have to stick it where it lines up with that insertion thing. So you can see. And there we go. Now you hear the click. So now you got yourself a full tail. <laughs> ah, yes. And it also comes with two additional hands. You can see. So you can see this is the front. And this is the back of it. Same thing with this one. And it's very rubbery as well. I think it's made out of PVC. I mean, the entire figure feels like it's made out of PVC, but yeah. And in case you forgot how to put on the hand, so to switch out the hands, you see, there's going to be a joint in here see that and then you see this so you simply just stick it into here and you have to give it some force too so there you have it now I'm just gonna put this back in all right so there you have it you got yourself a full prayer alien and also let me show you how tall this thing is with my tape measure I think it's taller than what you call it. Um, ah, get off. Oh, you can't stand on the zone. Give me a second. All right, be. All right now I'm going to measure it and see how tall he is. Okay. So he is about 17 inches in height, 
sea en el fútbol. Almost close to 18 inches, so he is pretty tall. So, yeah, this figure is very tall. Yeah, his weight is huge. I would say that, as I see. So, now you get to see what it looks like, all the details, and this is the damaged version made by Hot Toys. So you see all that, and I wish I could show you the tongue again. Ah. <laughs> Dang, I'm so glad he's not real because he will melt my camera. All that acid and stuff. So, and there's the back of him. You can see. You can see everything. His tail is getting in the way of the camera as usual. So, this is the Prey Alien. I will be posting pictures in the shorts when the video is released so you get a better uh, close up of how it looks. Because I do be taking nice pictures. So, and you get them all set up. And now, dang, I hate the way the feet is designed. I wish I had a base with. It. Now, I'm going to do some comparisons with the other um, toys so you can see. So, here he is with. Oh, okay. I try not to catch with some of these things just piss me off. And this way, it looks like with compared to uh, this is the let me see. This is the um the predator. This is the uh, the Predator 2 version, so you see wait, how tall he is, and he just towers over him. And you can see how big he is, and the, and the foot fell off as usual. <sighs> so you can see how tall he is, so you can see the height. <sighs> okay. Now, where's the alien at? So now you can see how tall he is with the, the original alien. So, you can see a big difference. See how tall they are? Let me get back. You can see them? Alrighty, so you know this figure is tall. Because the alien is about 13 inches in height. So, this figure is very tall. Alrighty, so. And then, this is what happens when you fuse them two. When you mix a predator and an alien together, you get the prey alien, as I, which, as you saw in the video. So, this is what happens when you fuse them together. So I thought that was pretty cool. When, you know, you get to see what it look like when their, D, their uh, DNA or genes mix together. So, you get this figure. You get a prey alien with the dreads and stuff. They can't move as well, you can see. I forgot to show that. They're nice, bendable. See? And you got this big old head, so. <laughs> okay, so this is the full review of Predator, Predator Alien made by Hot Toys. And this figure is nice and big. I really like the details on it. Just wish the joints were a lot more you know, stronger in the legs area. And I not I can't complain about not having a base because this is a use, so it didn't come with a base, so I can't really complain about that. But if it did have a base, I'm pretty sure it will really help help the figure stand. So that's fine. And, and of course the other joints are is another complaint. They don't stick in. But that's okay because I got myself a prayer alien to add to my collection. So, yeah. And I will be putting this up somewhere. So, this is all for the video. And thank you for watching. And like the video. Subscribe. Click the notification button. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think about the prayer alien. Uh, did you, was he your favorite enemy in the movie? Or your favorite alien? Um, did you like, um, how can I say, did you like all the present movies? Do you like the newer ones, the older ones, uh, 
you know, just let me know what you think about this figure. Okay, so I had to collect them for you guys to see. I wanted to show them off. And thank you for watching. Enjoy. Yeah. Also, and also I forgot to say, he thanks you as well. Or should I say it? And Beast thanks you also for watching the video. And he, <laughs> you hear that snorkel? Yeah, he's kind of a. Well, you gonna, you gonna. All right, he's too. He's being lazy. Well, all right, yeah, that's all. Uh,